everyone and welcome back to yet another P3D video. This video is going to be a tutorial on how to do a pushback with UGCS. I've seen a couple of guys struggling on stream and I just wanted to um, do a quick video just for anyone who might have misread the um, actual manual so or probably might have misunderstood what it was saying. So basically we are here in the Q787 at Amsterdam International Airport and we've got two directions that we can possibly push back. Now just want to make you, I'm going to show you how to set up UGCS because it is unique to each aircraft that you're going to be flying in the same. It's not a one size fit all. So we're going to go through the setup of, the, um, of this aircraft and then I'm going to do a not so standard pushback just to show you um, exactly how to customize these complex pushbacks that you might have if you're at Amsterdam or maybe uh, parked in a corner and you're not sure how to get out because the ground services that you might be using might be a little bit um, finicky depending on which gate you currently are at. So without further ado we're going to go into the cockpit and what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the options. For you just see I have it mapped to my letter T and what we're going to do is go into the options here and then we're going to go into the aircraft profile settings. I'm not going to go through all of these because it's quite self-explanatory the things you want to pay attention to is if you're using voice control or menu control or what people call button control and then which um, tug you want to have pushing you back so let's change it to the wallet 140 I just put this here it also shows the marsh where its distance you want to make sure that when you're in a normal um, seat in the cockpit that you can still see this guy when you are taxiing so you can bring him closer or you can move him further away depending this is going to come in quite handy for those guys who fly the 747 because you have a extremely high cockpit and you can't see directly down in front of you so in some cases you might want him a bit further back in other cases you want him a little bit closer like if you were in a dash it or something like that and then you've got all these options down here basically that you can choose to your preference so what I've got is I want to see my wing walkers because I think they're cool and most importantly you're going to see the fast paced walking speed during pushback you want to select that unless you've got a great deal of patience because the non fast pace is very very slow and if you're doing a long pushback it can bring you to tears, I guess. Um, the Ramp Angel Signals X, uh, when we move into a bar, I have this selected, but I'll probably deselect that um, at some point. And then you've got the original sound set here, which basically depending on which part of the world you are, you might find that the people want to all speak with a British accent. And then you've got the display all detective speech in green bar. Now, this is something that I would recommend. I don't do it because I stream and I think it kind of takes away from my videos. But you're going to probably notice that at some points during this actual video, I won't know if UGCS is muted or not because I have disabled the, um, the green bar. But actually for this one, I'll actually turn it on and keep it on. actually no because I've got to go into my settings and change up stuff as well which I don't want to do so even though that I have it on I have the information in P3D turned off so that's not going to help me in any case now in terms of your pushback sequence one thing that I want to make clear when you first come into a gate you're going to have two options when you're going to be doing your pushback for the first time the computer defined pushback route is what the computer has already selected for you. However, if you should at any point create your own and then save it, this now becomes your new computer defined pushback route. So if you messed it up 
and then didn't know how to delete it and you keep selecting computer defined pushback route that same pushback that you don't want is what you're going to be having it's the actual um, save routes are in app data under um, under UGX, UGCS sorry and then you see like the name of the gate you just need to delete that and then you can start from there again or you can just create a new user defined pushback route and that will replace the new one when you get the prompts so for this video and all purposes um, just going to be doing a user defined pushback route and then I'll probably do a few more videos as time goes by to show you all the different features but today we are just going to use the user defined pushback route so at the moment I am at gate D53 now it doesn't always orientate you in the way that you would probably think because most people would expect that if you're at the gate that you're going to be at the top but in this case I am here so what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom in a bit to see where I'm actually going and I am going to do let's see I'm going to do a push back all the way on the main taxiway. You're not going to see this happen in real life, but I just want to show you exactly how you can do kind of like a complex push back. It doesn't necessarily have to be just a straight back and then just a one turn. So I'm going to push back here to do my first point. So I'm going to make this my first waypoint. And you're going to see the menu come up once you right click saying add a waypoint. So that's my first waypoint. And once you've selected a waypoint, it then highlights it in yellow so you know exactly what path you selected so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up down to gate D57 and I'm going to make that another waypoint and then from here I'm going to go down to just before the taxiway add another waypoint and then I'm going to come here that main taxiway at another waypoint and then I'm going to push back here so that's another waypoint and just by this waypoint I'm just going to go back in a little bit and then I'm going to select this to be my actually let me come back a little bit further actually no I'm fine there so now I'm going to select here and I'm going to put this as waypoint then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna tell it this is my pushback point and once I've done that I'm then gonna right click one more and then say end custom route and that is the route that I'm gonna be pushing back it's gonna be a little bit long so it give me time to talk to you a little bit about it and it's going to ask do you want to save this custom pushback route I click yes and now this becomes the computer pushback route rather than the user defined pushback route and then I'm going to click yes and that's pretty much going to start the services now I'm going to treat it as button because I can't see if it's muted or not because I have disabled my um my information so like chase point cameras and uh, chase plane cameras and stuff like that I don't like to see that in my videos so I tend to actually um, disable that ground flight deck now when you're doing the voice you have the option to still use the menu option so if you're not sure you're not following the manual and you want to know what to say you can just click on here and then say go ahead um, I think I'm muted so he's not gonna hear me let me undo it let's see go ahead Please confirm that the brakes are set. I'll mute myself again. So, with this, because I have voice selected, it doesn't automatically go to what I should say next. It will only stay on this unless I go on main menu and then I go again and click push back sequence. Then I can see what I need to say next. Communications are okay and the brakes are set. Understood, parking brakes set.
And if I don't feel to talk because everyone in the house is sleeping, I can just click. Roger, the facing north, release, release the brakes. Brakes release. Parking brake release. Pushing back. And I mute it again. Now it's kicking up some dust because this is contact points um, that is getting at this airport. You will get this at a few add-on airports, um, any, but you won't get it at all. The guys are looking into it, so they'll probably come up with a fix. Ground equipment is clear. You can start the engines um, at your discretion. Start that out, but I know Eham is one airport that you will get it at. You can see the guys are walking with quite a fast clip. You can slow this down if you don't want to see them walking that fast, but it means that the pushback is going to be a lot longer in terms of time. But essentially, that is how you actually do um, kind of a complicated pushback. And like I said, it's not realistic because you will probably never see a pushback like this in real life. But this is our sim and we play our sim. And forgive me for saying play, but we play our sim how we want. So whatever gives you fun, you do. So there will be some that would like to do a pushback like this. And who am I to say differently? But this is basically how you would do a um, custom pushback. One of the cool things about this is that when you've got a pushback that you like, you might be flying with a friend who can't be bothered and to map out their own pushback or whatever, but you might have it for several gates. You can actually save these pushbacks and share it with your friends so that they don't have to go through the whole setting up pushbacks for all the gates that they might possibly have. Because like if I'm flying into Eham, um, if I'm flying into here quite often, I'm going to have a specific pushback for each gate. And I might have a friend that want to fly with me back and forth for a few times. And rather than they having to go through the whole setting up multiple gates, I can just give them all of my save gates. And then we all pretty much have everything done and dusted in a few seconds. I wasn't that accurate because I thought I was closer to the line. I'm not. All right, the push is complete. Place set to brakes. Parking brakes are set. I think I'm muted though. Parking brakes are set. Okay, parking brakes set. Okay, so you just told me that the brakes are set with his hand signal. Okay, the tower is disconnected and equipment is clear. Road kill. I like the fact that the marshal is there with the X, but because the tug actually goes through him, I'm probably going to disable that feature. And they're waiting for me to say something now. So this is where. Um, I'm not sure what to say. I don't have my um, manual out, so I just go back, and that's what I just need to say to him. 
Thanks, and you can disconnect and go to hand signals. Thank you, and uh, have a safe flight. Uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do a custom pushback with UGCX.